This is the most important story of the day. Perhaps the most alarming story of the day too. Microplastics found in a fetus. A pre-polluted baby. I know it sounds horrific and I'm doing it on purpose just to drive home the horror that we're all unleashing on the next generation. We may have the latest technology, we may have all the money, we may have top-notch health care, but we are still killing our children with plastic, choking their future. Plastic is on the streets, in the oceans, the mountains, in the wildlife, with a seahorse. Microplastics have touched the deep sea. Even sunlight has not been able to do that. There is plastic in Point Nemo, the most remote spot in the ocean. Plastic has, has been found in a dead whale stomach. In every single sea turtle that researchers have tested, there is plastic in Antarctica too. Plastic was found stuck around the neck of a seal, entangled around the beak of a stork, on the French Pyrenees, in bottled water, in human stool. There was plastic in the stomach of a water flea, and now there is plastic in the human placenta. Microplastics have found their way to the home of an unborn baby, and this is a first. It's never happened before. The placenta is crucial to a fetus's development. It is supposed to provide oxygen to the baby, provide nutrition. Microplastics have polluted it. Researchers examined the placenta of six women. All of them had normal pregnancies and birth. But what researchers found was shocking. There were microplastic particles in four placentas, both on fetal and maternal side. Microplastics were also found in the membrane within which the fetus develops. Let that sink in. Researchers analyzed about 4% of each placenta and they found a dozen plastic particles in each. Now imagine the total volume of plastic in the entire placenta. The plastics came in different colors, red, blue, orange and pink. And they came bearing threat to the babies. Two years ago, a whale died from eating 80 plastic bags. Last year, the world lost a baby dugong to plastic. So many other marine animals have met the same fate. Imagine then what plastics can do to a human fetus. Experts say microplastics could carry harmful chemicals. They can upset the fetus's immune system, reduce the fetus's growth, even cause long-term damage. The microplastics found in the placentas were around 10 microns in size. That's around 0.01 millimeter. It's small enough to be carried in the blood streams. What happened to those babies? Are they healthy? Researchers have not been able to assess them yet, but they say microplastics could have entered their bodies. Cyborg baby, that's what they're calling them. It's like having a cyborg baby, they say, no longer composed only of human cells, but a mixture of biological and inorganic entities. This is a quote from the lead researcher of this study. How did microplastic particles enter human placentas to begin with? Scientists say they may, they may have been inhaled or consumed by the mothers. They could have come from paints, from packaging, cosmetics and personal care products, things that all of us use all over the world all the time. Six mothers were studied as part of this project. Plastic was found in the placenta of four of them. Yes, it is a small sample size, but it's significant in terms of probability, four out of six. How do you know it may not happen to you? or to someone you know. Let me ask you this again. Is this world safe enough for our children? We cannot provide a safe home for them in our wombs. Once the baby is born, you cannot feed her milk because there is plastic in milk too. Fruits and vegetables are coated with wax and infused with chemicals. Meat has harmful growth hormones. The air has pollution. The water has chemicals. Forget achieving super immunity. Today, keeping our children healthy, giving them basic health has become a challenge. Let me end with this. In most mythologies, the earth is referred to as a mother, Mother Earth, we say. Her womb is now polluted with plastic. And now, so is the womb of human mothers. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.